Hello. Today I'm going to carry on planting out some brassicas. Yesterday I got them planted there and created that tunnel and today I want to do some more. I'm Liz Zorab and this is By the Farm. This bed had had straw on it throughout the winter uh, to keep the weeds away and luckily all I had to do was clear that straw off and put it into the compost heap which is really close by. I removed the two or three weeds that had grown in here and a couple of crops uh, that <laughs> didn't do very well last year, had to almost come to nothing uh, so I got those out as well and that left me with a nice clear space to get in some brassicas. To make sure I can keep uh, uh, cabbage white butterflies and cabbage moths off these plants, uh, I've constructed this netting and hoop affair. And I've done that by hammering uh, some old uh, parts of a trampoline, so for the leg parts of a trampoline. My neighbours had a children's trampoline, which they no longer wanted, and they gave to us, and we used it uh, as a a shelter for the ducks for a couple of years and then when the top got too tatty uh, we took it all apart but I kept the legs uh, for using for making these tunnels. So uh, they get hammered into the ground. I'm going to harvest this onion. It's been growing here quietly all winter. I'll use as much as I can from the bulb, but mostly I'll be using these stems. And then these MDP pipes, uh, I think that's what they're called, uh, get pushed into them. The other alternative uh, is what I've done on the next uh, hoop over. Uh, which is putting bamboo canes into the ground and then the piping goes over the top of the bamboo cane rather than inside it. And it's given me a series of hoops over which I've been able to stretch this netting. I didn't sow any cabbage seeds uh, at the end of summer or autumn last year, so I didn't have any young plants uh, to get into the ground. But that's not a problem if you haven't sown any seeds you can buy young plants online. And that's exactly what I've done. So I bought uh, two packs out of these early Durham cabbages. And these are field grown plants. So they've been grown outside, they're perfectly hardy. They don't need uh, <laughs> any huge care. What they do need when you buy them uh, is a jolly good soak. They would have been lifted from the field, they're bare rooted and they would have started drying out. So um, at least half an hour, if not an hour or two uh, in a bucket of water to really refresh the plants. Uh, and then uh, I started planting them uh, into this space. When I'm planting cabbages or indeed any type of brassica, I like to firm them in really well. Brassicas do like to have a firm soil around them. So once I've dug the hole and put the plant in, and these ones I'm planting uh, much deeper than they were growing previously uh, to give them more uh, security and prevent wind rock. Be really careful not to damage the stems. So once I've put them in the hole and I fill the hole with soil, I will firm it down uh, with my fingers and then firm down the soil all around it. And uh, the rule that I've always learned is uh, firm them, firm them again. And then when you think they're about as firm as they can be, firm them one more time. And the easiest way to do that uh, is to just form a, a fist with your hand and push the soil down uh, like that. Because uh, that gives you quite a nice large surface area and you can put quite a lot of weight behind it. At this end of the bed, there are still a few beetroot uh, that were sown last year. Uh, they were left to grow gently over winter. Oh, this is a nice one. And this one, oh, looks like it's been eaten by slugs. Uh, it's now got slugs and wood lice in it. Wood lice are great. They are nature's clearer uppers. They clear away dead matter in your garden. 
So if you find a whole load of them, they're unlikely to be eating your crops. They're more likely to be tidying up for you. The other thing that I like to do is to create a little well around them. I'm going to do that by building a little soil wall in a circle. It's not essential, but what it does is allow the rain uh, to pool in that area and to run down towards the roots. It's important to give them a really good water at this stage because you want to wash all the soil down and have it right next to the roots, making contact with the roots so that they'll grow really well. If you have air pockets in the soil, it will effectively air prune the roots and you want as many roots growing out as much as possible with these plants so they'll grow really large and really healthy. There are several different types of netting that you can use to protect brassicas. You just need to make sure that you've got one that's suitable uh, as butterfly netting as opposed to just birds because netting that will keep birds off uh, will still have holes large enough for butterflies to squeeze through. I like to use netting that's wide enough to go uh, over the hoops and right down the outside of the raised bed and then I use lengths of wood down each side of the bed to hold that netting down so it doesn't get blown around in the wind and doesn't give any access to cabbage white butterflies or cabbage moth. At each end of the bed I gather the netting together and bunch it all up and fasten it with a cable tie or zip tie and then uh, I can pull any loose bits around the corner and tuck those under and then uh, either secure it uh, using a weight like a brick uh, or using one of these uh, garden staples like a metal u-shape which i can uh, push into the ground uh, i hope oh, I, <laughs> I would like it to be a bit more uh, in the ground than that i may have to stand on it and then uh, when i want to access the bed or if i want to weed or apply some mulch and then it's very easy just to move uh, one of the lengths of wood away and lift the netting up over the corner and then it will slide up uh, and over the hoops very easily to give me uh, really good access to the bed. Well, I think that was a job fairly well done. Uh, I'll leave all the information and hopefully some inspiration uh, over on my website at bythefarm.com and I'll also leave links uh, to all the equipment I've used and also uh, to Cornish cabbages where I got the plants from. And I think it's time I went in now and had a cup of tea. And so, wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you'll join me again next time.